the start of this living hell that is now our life came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. And I was one of the few. Most who spoke out against the feds, well, things didn't go so great for them. The cemeteries are filled with martyrs. Those who sought to call out the bullshit and the lies when they saw it. Well, I know. Because they came after me. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. Broadcast from an unmarked van, moving from town to town. In the days before the roads came choked with cars and the bridges destroyed, trying in vain to stop the freaks. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. No, Cope, the cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep moving, because if anyone had found your unmarked band, they'd have blown it to hell. Just so we wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit Radio Free Oregon. <laughs> to the roof. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Black helicopters have been spotted in the skies. You might have seen them. Heard them. Thought you were losing your mind. But you're not. They're real. <gasps> and they're proof that I was right. We thought Nero died out here like the rest of them. Caving under their own stupidity. But no. Like I said, they've been lying and wait all this time till they can crawl up out of their holes and reclaim this world. But it ain't happening. Not on my watch. And don't go running towards them thinking they're gonna save your ass. Any man wearing a uniform worth a damn died more than two years ago. These men, they'll shoot you on sight. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Jesus. Hope they're not trying to reclaim shit. <laughs>
sniper ambush. Oh, God damn it. Shit, perfect timing. Gotcha, you son of a bitch. No more ambush drifters for you, huh? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. This earth is a gift for us all. To use as we see fit. To provide for ourselves and our families. I'm not saying this. It's the Lord that gave us dominion over it. But that wasn't enough for some men. They wanted more. When our fuel got low, they jacked up the prices so they could consolidate power into their own hands. So wanted to build dams for electricity. But their precious runs of salmon were more important than heating our homes. We wanted to cut a few trees to build those homes. But the nests of a few spotted owls were more important than the entire timber industry. Now that the feds have gone to ground, let's just say we've eliminated the middle man. No one can stop us from taking what's rightfully ours. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Here we go. Thing is, Cope, fuel prices have come down lately. Way down. Only problem is you gotta find it yourself. And last I checked, there were plenty of assholes out here trying to take what's rightfully ours. 